Maybe it's because I'm, <laughs> I'm messing with you, but we hope everybody's doing well um, as usual. Uh, we wanted to come in and we got a pretty good um, topic of discussion today. I like this. Okay, so um, before we get started, we want you to close your eyes. Think about the relationship that you're in. Visualize, is this something that, you know, this relationship going somewhere? Is this somebody you see yourself with? You know, is this relationship adding or taking away? Just think about those kind of things. Um, to, is it an asset or is it a lot of Yes. Uh -huh. So, uh, again, today we're going to give you eight questions that we want you to you know, ask yourself. Ask yourself. Um, and these eight questions is going to let you know whether or not it's love or is it time to close the chapter. Mm -hmm. Everything is not meant to hold on to. Right. You know, we all know relationships can be complicated and sometimes it's very difficult to decide to whether we want to move on or stay in relationships. And, and most of all, sometimes emotions get in the way mm -hmm. and we stay inside a relationship too long. We know we, we know we saw the red flag. We know it's time to let it go. We know this person ain't good. So that's why hopefully today, guys, we can give you some questions that you can ask yourself so you can know, like, maybe this ain't right. Right. Sometimes it's hard to see the picture when you're in the frame. So maybe you can do some reflecting today after you watch this video and see, like, maybe I do need to step out yeah. of this relationship because yeah. it's not just doing more harm than good. Maybe it's good, yeah. A lot of time relationships, they have the ability to make everything seem like it's wonderful and hunky dory, but you know they also have the ability to make everything seem miserable too, depending on the type of relationship you had. And life is too short, man. You, we deserve to be happy, and the person that will make us happy the most, more than likely, if we find the right one or the the right one is our partner. Right. They're gonna make our days happy. They're gonna make our days. We don't want them to make our days miserable. My wife and me, hopefully me, that we we the the best partner. That we 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 here to make our lives better, not worse. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, it's not always obvious um, when the time has come to start a different chapter in your life. So again, that's why we're gonna go over these eight questions with you, and hopefully we can shed some light. Okay. All right, so question one. Are your relationship needs being met relatively easy? Okay. If you're constantly struggling to have your needs satisfied. Um, your relationship is doing more harm than good. Right. <clears throat> then that might be a sign that, you know, it's time. it's time to move on. I mean, really think about that thing. The relationship doing more. The relationship you've been with this person in this relationship is it doing more harm than good? Right. Are you happy? I mean, are you struggling to get happiness? Which is peace of mind. Or do, do are you are your finances going downhill? Is this relation is your relationship needs being relatively met? Emotional needs, physical needs, uh, spiritual, spiritual needs. Or the we were down to material. Yeah, material, you know. But yeah, that's important. All right. So, question two. It's question two: Is there mutual respect? Ain't mm -hmm. nothing worse, guys. You in a relationship and she don't respect you, or you don't, he don't respect you, guys. If there's no respect, the relationship cannot stand. Yeah. Respect is needed in relationship. It's dead. You just why spend your life with somebody who don't respect you? And it's okay. and, res and respect is a two way street. There's not is. no such thing as oh, you respect me, I respect you. No, no. We respect, respect each two, other. Respect each other is a two way street. Absolutely. <clears throat> um, question three to think to yourself. Go ahead, baby. Does your partner enhance your life in some meaningful way? Mm. Is this relationship a good relationship? Or am I, am I going, growing personally? Mm -hmm. Is he she pointed me and my pointing who a dark relationship a, a meaningful relationship? Yeah. Are we growing fin financially? Are we growing spiritually? Are we growing together emotionally and any other way we can grow? Right. Is it meaningful? Yeah, think to yourself, um, would I lose anything if I leave this relationship? Yeah. You know, or you know, will I gain? That's a question. Yeah, you know, to definitely you ask yourself. Okay, um, 
you might not want to put yourself in a position to find someone who does add something positive to your life. Yeah, if, it, if it's not satisfying, <laughs> position yourself because you need to. We all need to be growing, man. Every day we here for a short period of time, everything should be a growth. Yeah. All you got to, and the, the first person you need to grow is yourself. You need to be better than yourself. All we want to do is, I'm going to become a better person than I was yesterday. She's going to become a better person than she was yesterday. Yeah. That's all we can do is us. Right. And let me correct myself before we move on. Because I noticed I said <laughs> you might not want to put, you might want to put yourself in a position to find someone who does and, and positively bring something positive to your life. Okay, in a meaningful way. Question four, ask yourself, are you good for each other? Mm, that's a deep question. Are you good for each other? Our relationships need forgiveness. You know, are you good at forgiving, man? Yeah. Okay, can you forgive? But there's no forgive forgiveness, there is resentment. Yeah. So you don't want to always be having this Every time chip on your shoulder. Right. Okay, or you always throwing something back up in his face or her face that she did before or he did before. Like it, it, it's a revolving door. Okay? When y'all fight, forgive. Y'all fight, yeah. And y'all can't. It takes y'all. Y'all in the household. Y'all ain't talking for three, four, five days because one of y'all mad at each other. Y'all don't want to forgive. And more, a lot of times it's something real petty, man. Right. Now we know that sometimes some things does take long to forgive, like infidelity or something does take long to forgive, but it's something petty and you, you realize, no, they they you guys, it's hard to forgive each other. Maybe you forgive, but the per your partner, is, you with, is not forgiving. They hold stuff, they're very immature, and they hold a lot of stuff, resentment over and stuff. That's not good for a relationship. Right. So if you're in that, if you get that from your relationship, maybe it be, might be time to close that chapter. Yeah. Uh, like my baby, I always say, um, when he became a man, he put away his childish ways. Mm -hmm. That's a good, that, that's from the Bible. You yeah. know, we ain't going deep into that, but I'm just saying. Yep. Put away those childish ways. Step number five. Or question five that we want you to think question about. Five. Go ahead, baby. Do you uh, have fun with each other? Are you guys, I mean, are you enjoying each other? Are you still dating? Because a lot of times we get in relationships or we get in marriage and we, we forget to date. We forget to do what we, we we did at first to get the person. But what we gotta realize is like, if you're in a relationship, you know the relationship is growing. You know the relationship is gonna stay intact if you're still pursuing each other. Yeah. I mean, when you when you're in a relationship, it should be you date, you get serious, and you, you, you it's just a revolving door. You right. date, you get serious, you love marriage. So it's, it's just a revolving door. The same thing. You still date. Right. I mean, because once you stop dating, and you you. You stop looking. Right. And a positive relationship, <clears throat> it has fun in it. Okay? It has some fun. <laughs> especially if you're not married, man. If you're in a relationship and you're not married and you feel like, especially if you're in a year, under a year, and you, the relationship has already died out, Yeah. then that's not good, man. No. It's not good. After all, uh, why are you together if you can't enjoy each other's time? Okay, and time means a lot. We learned today from a marriage um, a enrichment seminar we went to that, you know, quality time is one thing. That That's not what we need, though. We need time. Yeah. Just give us some time, you know? Time in a relationship a small, means a lot. You know, a little small acts, of t small acts of time, like you listening to your party, y'all spending quality time with each other. Might just be a little five minute conversation. Sometimes it don't got to be a lot, man. Sometimes you, if you spend, like in our book we talk, we go over the, the, the 10 minute ritual. So if you, you can spend just 10 minutes a day talking to your partner, be, be, uh, building authentic, meaningful connections, just that you'd be surprised what they can do, man. Just yeah. 10 minutes a day, one time a week, two times a week, or one time a day, and just connect. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, sometimes we, we miss the little small connection. So if your partner, is giving you these small connections. That's good. Take the opportunity, yeah, and take the opportunity to connect back. Like, um, for example, if I see a Mercedes yeah. that I like, you know, and I'm telling my husband I saw this Mercedes, I don't want him to just be doing something like, a, okay, yeah, 
and getting back to what he's doing. Instead, I'm looking for him to engulf yeah, or, engage you know, in the engage, engage in the conversation. Simple conversation. Yeah, yeah, and show a little interest. Yeah, show interest in simple conversation because the small acts of having fun. Yeah, just little small acts. Okay, so that brings us to question six. Do you share goals? Now this is good if you're single and dating, you know, really think about, even if you're in a relationship, not married, if you're married, you should already, you know, hopefully you're sharing goals. But if you're single and dating, this will definitely let you know whether or not you're ready to move on if you guys don't share the same goals. Your goals might be Okay, your goals need to match. Maybe to have kids, mm -hmm. maybe your goals might be to get a house in five years, maybe you got a job, you work, you like, I'm saving up, I'm trying to get a house in five years, I'm trying to get married in five years. Mm -hmm. So if you with somebody, you tell them that, and you see the, the old like, well, well, that mean they don't align with you, they're not trying to get married. You know you trying to get married, and you with somebody who's not really trying to get married, and you can see that they actually show that they're not really trying to get married. Right. Take for what it is. Man. Right. So so much in relationships, we, we seem to, to beat the person, almost like beat the person up to make them love. Yeah, that ain't good. You cannot force mm -hmm. nobody to love them, want to love you. If they love you, they're gonna stop everything and love you. That's they're right. gonna be there. If you say stop running the streets, they're gonna stop running the streets. Eventually, sometimes it takes people longer, but they're gonna eventually. You're gonna see. You're gonna see a gradual. You're gonna see improvement. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see them staying in the house more. I yeah. mean, you might not see a quick. All around change, but you gonna see. You can see. You we 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 all adults, so we can see if they moving in the right direction. We can see when things moving in the wrong direction. We stop. We just gotta stop going off emotions. Right. We can see it. Right. So definitely don't take the next step to marriage your if you can't align mind. your goals. Okay. Can you develop some goals with this person that you both can agree upon? Yeah, your goals gotta agree upon. It's a good thought. Okay. So um, question seven. Do you generally like your partner? And are you proud to be with them? Yeah. Okay, so back to you genuinely liking your partner. <laughs> Let's go back there. You don't want to have somebody that you you just don't like. I mean, you, you, you can't stand the mere thought of them. That's like, my baby daddy. You just with him because he got money, or you just with her because you like her body, or yeah. you know, something. But you don't really like her as a person or him as a person. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's time, time to move on. Close that chapter. It ain't no use to, ain't no use to you holding them hostage and, and they holding you hostage. Sometimes we gotta move on. What we gotta, I think so many times people we date, we, we gonna get onto this later or something. I think so many times with a lot of us we date, we forget, we forget that dating offline is just like dating. You going to a date like looking at somebody's profile. Yeah. The only difference is offline you date, you actually get to talk to them. Online, it, it, it's actually it's actually a little, you get to see more online than somebody tell you a little stuff that they interested in. You get to see their goals yeah. and what they want. So you get to see it online. Be but a detective. I, yeah, <laughs> and then you, you look at all you say, that goes now. You scroll to the next person, mm -hmm. you scroll to the next person, but that, we do that the same offline. The only thing is offline, it's a little more interaction. Yeah. And we got to actually talk to the person. We got to actually talk to them and ask them the question to get that out of them versus you can't read their profile. Well, let me read your profile for them. Yeah. You can't do that. Well, you yeah. can't do that on our phone. So we got to actually talk to the person. And that's when we when we date, we fail to realize that that's what we're doing. We, we get to know these people. We can get asking questions. And you sometimes you gotta ask questions. Yeah. Well, what was your mama like? Uh, right. What did you grow up with? Yeah. I mean, we, yeah. gotta, we gotta ask questions what to get to know the person. Values? What are some of your cold values? Mm -hmm. uh, are these eight steps? I mean, and just to see, because we when we date, we examine the relationship. Right. And if the relationship is not going the way we want to go, then we need to quickly close exit that. close that yeah. chapter <laughs> and get out of that relationship. Yeah. Um, and this is again a two part question. So. Um, <laughs> Are you proud to be with them? Does this person's spiritual goals align with yours? I mean, is this somebody that you would, you know, be satisfied with taking out to meet your family? Is this person too obnoxious for you? Yeah. <laughs> like, are you proud to be with that person? You know, yeah. proud to introduce them, proud to have them walk over, uh, over your show. Even, I mean, your arms, arms locking. Even if something happened in their past that you know about, you still gotta be proud. Mm -hmm to be with that person. 
be able to push that aside and be with this person. And most most importantly, are they proud to be with, with you? With you, too? absolutely. If the feeling was not mutual, if you like, yeah, I'm proud to be with them, and they like, they don't want to, uh, you, they, they, you find them not taking you nowhere, yeah. and you like the housewife. Right. Well, house man, <laughs> then that ain't good. And that means they not really proud of it and the feeling's not mutual. You don't want to be somewhere where the feeling's not mutual. Yeah. Sweet love is like, it's a two-way street, baby. Yeah. It's like double dutch. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I used to be the double dutch queen. Um, okay, but that's another story. Question eight to think about, okay. Are you truly attracted to your partner? Yeah. This is important. Because I'm sure you know that you not being attracted to your partner can lead to so much other stuff. Okay, so you definitely need to be attracted to your partner. Sex is good, okay, but it ain't everything. You gotta have some attraction. Physical attraction and uh, mental. mental attraction. Mm -hmm. You need to have both. Because if they, they physically attracted, but they dumb and they can't hold a conversation you can't talk to five, ten minutes without them, without them getting bored or just really any kind of intellect, and that's not good. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of y'all might be attracted to somebody dumb, you yeah. know, because you might be a little slow. Oh, no, I'm just playing, but not for real. Yeah. I mean, it might be I mean, some attraction. I mean, but you know the level that you with. Yeah, the level that you with. Who like, you attract, okay? Yeah. So, okay. The, no, no. These, these are questions that require time and effort from both parties. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. These eight questions are good questions to just think about, okay, and know if it's time to close that chapter on your life. And, and, and just ask yourself, is your partner putting in the time and effort to actually make the relationship work? Because sometimes, like I said, like uh, Neil said, we got to make it work, baby. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it, it, can be as, it, it can only be as we both make it, and sometimes it's going to hurt. Right. <laughs> we can be as happy as we want to be, girl, but we got to make it work. You got to make a relationship. If you're not getting that, it ain't 50 50. It's 100. I'm putting 100%, you putting 100% to make a relationship work, guys. But you need to get out of that relationship and close that chapter. Yeah, absolutely. And some of these questions, well, a lot of these questions would even work with, um, you can ask yourself these questions about friendships and work friendships, too. I mean, all right, so you got to sometimes, like I said, you got to get out of the relationship and just self reflect, look back in and get out of the relationship for a second. Just look back in and just examine the relationship, guys, to see if the relationship is your head is the way you want it to go or is it not? Is the relationship healthy? Is it good or is it not? Yeah, so take some time and examine all of your relationships and answer yourself these eight questions, guys. Yeah, so. and as you and the other people in your life evolve. Some of your relationships might not make sense right now, yeah. okay? So, um... You be the judge. You're yeah. the captain of your ship. You can only... you the one that can make yourself happy, man. Nobody else in charge. It's Absolutely. only you. And we'll see you Ayo. in the next video. Ayo. My back. Please subscribe, guys. Yeah. When we see the video, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Boom. All right, visionaries.